just think about this for a second. How many times have you went on to look at a new pair of trainers or a, a new phone or whatever it may be? You go into a website for a product. So you go and search and you have a look and likely when you go on and have a look at products, you don't buy. 99% of the time, I, I go on right move and auto trader every single day. I don't buy a house and a car every day. Like you're often going to go and look at stuff. You're window shopping online. Maybe you don't have your size or you've left your bank card in the office. There's a reason why you don't buy and you leave that website. Now you leave the website and you head on to Facebook. Next thing you see those shoes as an ad on Facebook and you're like, huh? Those shoes, I just... Okay, that's weird. Maybe you don't think about it. Because bear in mind, even if you understand what I'm about to start talking about, pixel data, cookies, all these different things that we use to track people, right? You might just look at this stuff and go, whoa, that's mad that they're able to, you know, send that ad to me. Or maybe you're a conspiracy theorist and you start going, my phone's listening to me. My phone's watching me. What can I do about this? But this is all deliberate. So you go into Facebook and you see the shoes and you're like, whoa, that's mad. They'll target me with the exact thing I was just looking at. You go onto Instagram, the exact same thing happens. You go onto Google, you're gonna see the same bumper ads, all that kind of stuff. You go on YouTube, you can be getting targeted with in-stream ads, again, YouTube bumper ads, whatever it may be. So you're now in this position where you've spent a little bit of time on www.whatever, and next, you might have been on there for under a minute, under 30 seconds, but now you're getting retargeted on every single platform. And you're thinking to yourself, I can't escape these shoes. Or I can't escape that holiday I was thinking about booking. Or I can't escape that service I was thinking about buying. It's targeting you everywhere. Today, we're going to be talking about something very important. Bear with me whilst I write this and spell it. And understand that writing is not my strong point. I got a C in higher English. Not exactly the most impressive grade in the world. But who cares? Because I'm a certified baller with a nice business. English wasn't going to get me here. I, I could be, what's what's the word when you can't speak? Or can't write? And Dyslexic. Bro, no! Oh, like, the, you can't speak? No, not speak, that's mute. Uh, you can't read or write. Illiterate. Illiterate, there we go. That's what we need Zane here for. <laughs> Dyslexic, bro! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Dyslexic! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna keep that in, that's so good. Right, so we're gonna talk about engineering fate. Let me give you some examples, right? I'm just gonna put down some different marketing platforms here or some different social media platforms that I use to drive paid traffic. So let's just say Facebook, IG, Google, and YouTube, just as some starter ones. You might be getting targeted on a whole host of different places apps and stuff like that as well inside of your emails you might even be getting old school marketing once you go and register for something you get leaflets and newsletters sent to your house or whatever it may be we're talking about digital stuff now i hear this sentence all the time i'm like on a call with someone or i'm at an event here and, you know we're talking to clients of ours and they're like richard you know when we were getting marketing for growth getters we get marketing for this event or this service we just seen you everywhere. It felt like we could not get away from you. And it literally felt like we had to come to this event. It was in any social media platform we went on, anywhere we clicked, you would pop up, you would talk to us, you would speak to us through these ads. And it just felt like it was a sign that we had to come along to this event. Now, different things mean different stuff to different people. That's totally fine. What you need to understand is that is completely deliberate. I am doing that deliberately. It's not fate, it's not destiny, it's not the alignment of your chakras leading you towards doing that, it's because I have designed my marketing in a way to engineer fate, to get exactly what I want through my own work and my own structure and my marketing campaigns. You might get an ad from me inviting you to an event, you might get an ad from me telling you to come and watch a 30 minute free training. You might get an ad from me offering you one of our paid trainings for free for 24 hours. There's so many different ads that you might get. So that regardless of where you find yourself on social media, you are gonna be seeing me and reminded that I'm there and reminded of my business. That is enough to make some people think, oh whoa, there's something I really need to do. This is a, this is a sign to me, but for me it's my way of having some control and some, I guess, a, a degree of 
choice and understanding of where my next customer may potentially come from. Now, how do we do this stuff? Well, it's all tracking, right? So we get loads of different types of tracking. I'm gonna talk about my favorite one just now. I'm gonna keep this super simple. This is not a tutorial on how to do this. I would probably not do a tutorial on how to do this because I, plainly I don't find it entertaining. And for some reason, every time I make a video that's like me going on holiday, Everyone's like, yeah, 2,000 views. And then I make a video that's like an hour long and it's like me giving you advice to change your business and financial future forever. It's like six views, six dislikes, right? I don't know why this happens, so my motivation to make a, a pixel embedding tutorial is, is not for me. So one of the best forms of tracking that I use is the Facebook pixel, right? So if you have a website that you are you know, running ads to and stuff like that, you're gonna get cold traffic. So you have your www dot here. You've got Facebook here that you're spending some money on to send people to this website, right? That is running ads. And just for clarity, I am not talking about the boost feature. You know, when you make a post on Instagram, you make a post on Facebook and it says, well, you can boost this post. Never boost anything in your life. Oh, but Richard, I use Boost a couple of weeks. Don't care. Non-negotiable, don't use Boost. That's not ads. I'm talking about running actual ads through Facebook Ad Manager, right? So you've got Facebook, you spend a little bit of money on it to send people to your website. Awesome. You can go into your Facebook Ads Manager, you can see, wow, we've had 5,000 people click that website. That's so cool. But you might be looking and go, okay, well, I'm spending 200 quid every single day to send people to this website. And what is this translating to in terms of new revenue? Oh, well, it's, it's really, really low. Because if you don't know this, here's a little fact for you. To take someone from really cold to potentially wanting to purchase from you, it can take anywhere between eight and 20 touch points to get them to buy. So what that means is that's maybe between eight or 20 phone calls, eight and 20 conversations, eight and 20 emails, eight and 20 text messages to take them from, I don't know who you are, I don't know what your product is, and they first see your ad or they first see your business, all the way through to deciding to make a purchase. Now that can also, that's made up of the super motivated people that are like two, all the way through to the people that are like 150, right? Like this is such a vast, vast, vast expanse. And what you can understand is if you're doing all of this on the phone and texting and physical human time, it's really difficult. When we can add in ads and stuff like that, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. But you're looking at this and you're thinking, Richard, I know you're talking about running these ads, like I'm running ads just now and, you know, spend 200 quid a day, like 1500 quid a week almost, 6,000 pounds a month send these people to my website, but I'm not making 6,000 pounds a month. Like, I'm maybe only getting like 3K back. So what am I, am I doing this for brand awareness? Uh, am I doing this to hope that they buy from me in the future? Am I speculating to accumulate? Like, what is it I'm doing here? No, what you're actually trying to do is, what loads of people don't realize, is you're trying to build up a bank of data, right? Now that is not me saying that it is worth you having a hugely negative ad campaign just to build up data. But what happens here is with this pixel, just to give you an understanding and not get too techy, is this gets embedded into your website. The awesome thing is, is that if your website is built on WordPress, Shopify, WooCommerce, ClickFunnels, um, Wix website builder, Squarespace, any of these things, and you go on to Facebook Events Manager, that's what this is called, this is like an event tracker, an event is someone going on your website. They've all got integration tutorials, some of which take less than 60 seconds to embed a pixel into your website. You don't need to be some coding wizard, it's super, super easy to do this stuff. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to spend money to send the cold traffic to here, and when they land on that, and they're coming through Facebook, they're signed into a Facebook account, we capture their data. It's almost like if you imagine you put paint on the bottom of someone's shoes. They come onto your website, they walk away, but you actually get to see their footprints. You see where they're going. We know that they have been on our website and we can now remarket to them. We can retarget them. So this data here is made up of visitors to that site. And this is how we're able to run different ads that mean different things to different people. 
So yeah, we'll spend this money to get cold traffic here. It's not generating money because guess what? We're not getting anywhere near our eight to 20 touch points. The same person has maybe seen this ad three, four, five times. It's the same creative. It's not motivating them to go any further down the customer journey. But when you send someone here and then you're able to retarget them, you can make it a lot more personal. Hey, I know you've visited this website, you've had a look on this page and that page, it's time for you to actually take a step forward, make a decision on what you're gonna do with your business and here is why we are the type of people you want to partner with to make that better. Whatever it is, your call to action, you're trying to sell them a couch, like, <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're doing, this is how we remarket to people. And we can get, by the way, like, so, so, so targeted with this, right? Like, super targeted. Because we don't just need to have like one pixel on a website. We can have one pixel. It's often referred to by people as a global pixel. It just covers the whole site. But what we can do is, you know, you've got a, the main page of your site. It's got a pixel on it. And then the booking form page has a pixel on it. And then when they actually go to submit the form, it has a pixel on it. So that you can do an ad that gets them to the main page hey, here's what we do at our business and here's how we can benefit you. Visit the site down below, la, 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 la. They get on there. Then when they go onto the booking page and they don't book, you can then target them specifically by making a lookalike audience or making a custom audience out of the people who have been onto that page. You can come to them and say, hey, I know you've been onto our booking page and for some reason it just wasn't the right time. Maybe you think a product might be too expensive and won't be able to do exactly what you want. Here's three reasons why our customers love working with us. Boom, awesome. And then when they actually go to submit the form, you can target them again with a, speci a specific ad for their situation or the action they've just taken on your website. So never do you want to be, you know, running traffic to a site and not getting anything for it. What I mean by that is you're gonna get site views, but what I want to do is I want to capture a little bit of your data so that I can remarket to you. We have pixels with tens of thousands of different events on them people who have visited different sites. So they see when I start up a new type of program, a new course, a new training, I have got between a bunch of different pixels over 100,000 people who have went deep into our funnel previously and clicked around different parts of our website. Maybe that training wasn't for them. Maybe that training didn't tick any boxes for them, but maybe this new training that's coming out will. So it's always good for me to have this bank of data that I can go and target and get a bunch of prospective clients straight away to come and look at that training or go onto that landing page. And this is how we engineer fate. So no, your phone isn't really listening to you. It might be, I don't know, but your phone's not really listening to you. All these different ads that pop up when you are looking at something online, this is all because of tracking. We're able to see who comes onto a website with attribution softwares like um, Hyros, Wicked Reports, all that stuff. It is almost impossible to get this stuff wrong. I can see who has been on my site. I can see your email. I can see your phone number sometimes, depending on where you're logged in. I can see what you've clicked on. I can see everything to do with how you interact with my business online. And this here with the Facebook Pixel is so simple. So if you have a site and you're running ads and you do not have a Pixel embedded into your site, that's the first thing you should be doing right now. Go on to Facebook Events Manager, look at the integrations. If you've got a partnered integration for the type of website that you've got, go and use it right now to put a Pixel in. And you're gonna be amazed at how many people are coming onto your site. You're gonna see so much interaction, so many events on that site. And then what you can do once you have 500 events, a thousand events, custom audience and it takes those 500, those 1,000, those 5,000, 10,000 people, it takes them and lets you directly target back them, meaning that our eight to 20 touch points, we're able to touch them with so many different ads, different creators, be far more specific in our targeting, give them special offers, give them discounts, give them whatever it may be, however you want to get them to interact and actually commit to your business, you're able to do it. Not by chance, not by hoping people like it, not by word of mouth, not by putting posters up in the city centre. All of these things can bring you business, but I want to have the ultimate degree of control over how my organisation grows. That allows me to hire more people with confidence, allows me to spend more money with confidence, allows me to invest with more confidence, allows me to spend more money on my ads and have more confidence doing so. There is no loss to doing this. So if you are someone with a business and you're not doing in-depth tracking right now, you're not someone who's super techie. Even if you don't know how to do this stuff, go and speak to your web developer, get them to do it. If you don't have a web developer, go and pay someone on Fiverr to embed your pixel. This stuff is essential. Let's start engineering fake guys and actually change how it is we market our businesses because that 
is going to get you the highest return on your ad spend and your time invested into that organization. If you've liked this video, feel free to subscribe down below, leave a like as well, and let me know in the comments what you're doing for marketing. How are you reaching your customers in different ways? How are you getting your cost per acquisition down while still increasing your revenue? What is it you're doing to get your organization? Why do I always mess this up at the end? I always can't speak at the end. What are you doing to get your organisation out there? I would love to know because I love marketing. I find it so interesting. I like to see what other people are doing and different things that I can add to my skill set as well. I like to be selfish sometimes and steal the things that are working. So if you enjoyed this video, react however you want down below. Like, dislike, subscribe. Does not matter. I just love having you here and watching this video and taking value. I'll catch you all very soon. Peace.